For us, it's an existential threat. We will face, the people of Pakistan, some 250 million people, will first f face uh, flooding, an extensive flooding, and then we'll be faced with perpetual drought. I think it's, so I've made it my mission to first convince the people of Pakistan, make them understand that what a crisis this is for us. You've got yeah. communities, but as far as I was checking, apparently the numbers, but my impression was that the numbers of Exodus with Pakistan's PSDP, any new scheme that comes in, will now be done so in view of um, a climate activity and climate resilient infrastructure. Not only would that be uh, investment from the public sector, it would also create green job opportunities uh, for our citizens. I think it's exactly what we need right now. So I think that all political uh, politicians and political forces should be allowed uh, to participate in elections. Um, and unfortunately, this has not been Mr. Khan's belief. He quite happily and gleefully um, tried to eliminate uh, his uh, political opposition uh, um, when he was in power. But when Mr. Khan was in power, uh, he engaged with these terrorist groups. Uh, he, in those that were in Afghanistan, that were in prison and had been freed from prison, he invited them back to Pakistan, allowed them to live uh, and come back and uh, live in Pakistan, in our tribal areas, as goodwill gestures, those terrorists that were involved in serious terrorist attacks within Pakistan, he set them free. As far as I was checking, apparently the numbers, but my impression was that the numbers of Exodus was... Uh, we uh, had created specific mechanisms uh, for each side, side to share their concerns with each other, and we also... Um, uh, have such an extensive level of communication from the sort of bottom level all the way uh, uh, up top to the highest levels of both governments. The day of the attack, the foreign minister of Iran was meeting with the interim uh, prime minister of Pakistan. So given all of that, it was incredibly, uh, you know, incredibly shocking and surprising to see such an attack take place. I love you.